Come in. Did you rest well? How you feeling? Much better, thank you. Sorry to worry you. I must have caused you so much trouble. Ah, oh, don't worry about it. You know, everyone's waiting downstairs. They all want to thank you for bringing back our things. Uncle Tesla. Aunt, Aunt Schultz. There's something I need to talk to you about. I wonder if you say it like Schultz or Schalte. I... I want to become a drifter. My father disappeared into the wasteland, but one thing he taught me was the ability to handle arms. If there's anybody out there, out there in the vast wasteland needing my help, I want to have wings so I can fly right to them. I know it sounds arrogant, and it might even be a mistake on my part. Even during the last incident, I wanted to help everyone, but in the end, I was the one who needed help. But even so, I can't turn away from this desire of wanting to help people. When something sad happens, its memory is engraved in my heart. Nobody wants to have sad memories. Even I know that, so... If my arm is able to even help one person out of trouble... Here. You've given this a lot of thought, haven't you? Hmm. Unlike land, the open sky has no roads for you to follow. There's no one there to guide you. You must find your own destination and fly there with your strength alone. That's what it means to be a drifter in the wasteland. If you desire to help people, always make that your destination and fly as far as your wings will take you. If you're ever too tired to fly against the wind, you'll always be welcomed here. Besides, you're family and we're proud of you. I'm sure everyone feels the same way as well. Uncle Tesla, Aunt Schultz, thank you. And I'm sorry. I've always believed that anyone who could say they're sorry from the bottom of their heart is both strong and brave. I guess with such a strong heart, you deserve my blessing as well. But I think you should tell someone else too. Go tell your mother in heaven about your decision. Mom used to love these flowers. I see them placed here sometimes, but who could be doing it? The young girl heads to her mother's grave to bid farewell to her childhood. Her expertise in arms, taught by her father, bolsters her resolve. That is all she needed. That is all. Her dreams of seeing the world would have become her strength and lifts her wings. But the path to the future is often a future is often a winding one, a winding one. Words, it tires some and leads many astray. Arms alone cannot overcome adversity, nor are they the only source of strength. The moment the young girl realizes this, she will truly become a drifter. That should. Yep, that closes out Virginia's chapter. I guess we'll do the suspicious intruder next. Gallows. Five days before the fateful encounter. Gallows, Caradine, age 24. He has turned his back on his lineage and destiny and recently took to the wasteland as a drifter. Yearning to escape his fate, he harnesses his inherent strength so that he may live freely. However, he has yet to re realize the true meaning of his actions. Little does he know that it is his very lineage and destiny that gives him such strength. I'll be darned if this is true. The sacred artifact of Baskar. Known as the Ark Scepter, will be delivered via transcontinental train to Baskar Colony. Ah, Baskar, Baskar is in, like, the first two Wild Arms games. There's a village called Baskar in both games. This artifact is said to be capable of communicating with the powers that sustain the world. The transport of such a priceless artifact is sure to generate curiosity, especially among train robbers, as... There's an intro, like an anime intro? 
they didn't play an intro at the beginning of this game, which is interesting. But at the same time, what was it? For Wild Arms 2? They didn't play one for Wild Arms 2's, like, Wild Arms 2 had, like, two intros, and the Disc 2 one, they didn't play unless you, like, loaded the game up. It changes based on the chapter? What do you mean changes based on the chapter? If there's an intro, I'll watch it, but, I mean, I can probably, like, reset the game after I do, like, the green-haired man's introduction, and then watch the intro, maybe I'll do? Sacred Artifact of Baskar, Yark Scepter. And it's on the train. Then. Alright, so that was the object they were talking about in the very beginning before they had me pick a character. What the heck is this Arc Scepter that I'm holding now? Oh man. Three months earlier. Intro from the prologue is whistled. You lose the ability to hear it after the green hair, dude? Okay. We'll do Gallows's, then I'll reset the game and watch it. After Gallows's, when they give me the option to save, which is after Gallows' chapter, I'll watch that intro. Thank you for telling me about that. Are you really going, brother? Heck yeah. Those are priestly lineage. Those of priestly lineage must enter priesthood, right? Well, not me. Why the heck do I have to follow some stale old tradition? I'm gonna live freely. No one's gonna tell me what to do. Mm, your story arc's probably gonna be similar to Tim. Not exactly the same, but like, you know. Well, you don't have to take the Sacred Artifact of Baskar with you. The Sacred Artifact Arc Scepter. It enables us to control and communicate with the powers that sustain the world. That's pretty darn amazing. If I can make use of that thing, then I'll have nothing to fear in the wasteland. But even if things don't work out, I can always sell it and live off the money for a while. What's even greater would be to see Granny's jaw drop. I don't understand you at all. But I do accept your decision. However, I will neither help you nor intervene into your affair. That's my kid brother. Just the answer I wanted to hear. You take after me. You're so quick-witted. By the way, where's that slow-witted Granny of ours? I have not seen her since this morning. Perhaps she's at the altar or... Don't tell me the Southern Sanctuary. Aw, oh, man. Talk about bad timing. Just when I thought I was about to head off there. Or just when I was about to head off there. That good-for-nothing granny. That's not a nice thing to say. Anyway, your decision still stands. Of course. Shall I augur your future with my dream sight, brother? You would like to know, wouldn't you? Nah, no thanks. It's almost guaranteed that my future will be bright. It'd spoil all the fun if I knew how good it was going to be. Brother. It's not like I'll never see you again. Relax. I'll be back with stories about what I see and experience on Phil Gaia. So wipe that frown off your face. Okay, please take care. Really weird that the game has an intro that you can miss if you, like, do all the prologues. They really should... It's why I'd rather them just play it during the game. What is this? Beep, hello, save your game. Oh, you're the save thing? I'm good. I'm just gonna finish Gallows' chapter and then we'll reload the game. I'll, I'll restart the game to see that opening. Really weird that, that, like, you have to restart the game before the prologues to see that. It's also very dumb of Wild Arms 2 because Wild Arms 2 had a second intro for Disc 2. But it only plays if you like load the game up when I think they could have easily played it during the story of Wild Arms 2. Anyway. There are three things you'll need when traversing the wasteland. The strength to defend yourself, accurate information on your destination, and the sir- Oh, the search system is back! End my soul! Press square when you're out in the wasteland to deploy search waves. If you have the right information about your destination, you should see a map. Once you uncover a map symbol, it stays visible as long as you retain the destination on your map. Well, we gotta go through the search system again. That was, like, my least favorite thing about Wild Arms 2. It got better, like, 20 hours in, but... I definitely liked it more when it didn't exist. Or at least be used for, like, optional dungeons and treasure, not for main story. It should not be a main story thing. 
Why, if it isn't the Karadime boy, what pranks are you plotting today? How'd you guess? Ah, you may have grown since the days I used to change your diapers, but you can't hide anything from me. <laughs> you wanna help me out? Oh, you're gonna let me in on your plan? How exciting, what is it? I wanna be free. Ha, now that's something I knew you weren't. That's something I knew you weren't no small time, Baskar. When are you leaving? Here, take this. You can pay me back when you're rich and famous. Five heel berries, amazing. And gimmel coins, nice. Consciousness known as the Guardians protects our way of life in Baskar. No, it protects the entire world. We people of Baskar live our lives enforcing the will of the Guardians. It is our sacred duty. As you know, we will fulfill our duties without question. But still, we want you to remain proud of your heritage as a de descendant of the priest. Recently, we think you've, you you lost your pride. Your mediums and materialization have the power of... Shh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. I know this Guardian, but I can never pronounce its name. Sure, Dark. Sure, Dark, the Water Guardian, befitting its watery nature, the median, medium takes on whatever form its user wishes. We Baskars take great pride in the fact that we are blessed with Guardian's power. We know not why you turn your back on the glory, spurring nothing but insults upon Baskar tradition. I gotta find someone and look for this. There's so much I want to do at the Sound Sanctuary, but Granny wouldn't like it. Guess I'll stay put. Okay, we're not leaving yet. I gotta look for Granny, I guess. Probably in here, if I had to guess. They treat the intro like an anime opening episode. They treat the intro like an anime op episode opening in your play session like the episode. There's an outro if you choose to stop playing after saving. There's an outro if you stop playing? Okay. I mean, I'm sure you can, like, save your game and press stop playing, so, alright, well. I mean, that's cool, but at the same time, I wish I didn't have to reload my game just to see that. For the opening, the outro is cool, that's a cool thing, but... The opening, like, like in Wild Arms 2, because Wild Arms 2 had a Disc 2 opening. They should have played it in the story instead of being like, oh, next time you load your game, it's gonna play the opening. Like, that was the only time they would play the opening. Like, let's say if you were to, like, finish Disc 2 in a single sitting, you wouldn't even see that opening. That's cool that it's like an anime, but at the same time, I think they should probably play it in the game. Like, while you're playing it. There are a few exceptions, like the outro thing, that could be a thing that could be, like, when you stop playing. That's cool. I'm cool with that. Oh, yeah, thank you so much for the gift sub. Greatly appreciated. So, I see your bag visiting the altar. Wonders will never cease. Granny, so this is where you were. I thought you had gone off to the... Oh, this, is that the is that jingle? Like, oh, you can find the location? I'm guessing. I thought you had gone off to the southern sanctuary. Well, why? Is, it that, is that where you're headed? No, not at all. Why would I want to go there? I was looking for you, Granny. I see. So what is it? Oh, uh, well, uh, one look at your bright smile made me forget what I was going to ask. I'll come back once I remember. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't know what you're plotting in the Southern Sanctuary, but remember, it's also called the Fallen Sanctuary. Your half-baked skills are no match for its traps and contrivances, and don't you forget it. So I guess we can find the sanctuary now. This world map. Give me a second chat. I need to really quickly see something here. I also want to, like, listen to this track a little bit. Yo, I like this. I like the whistling. They have a lot more whistling in the OST this time around. Oh, where's the stupid sanctuary? I think I found it. No, it's a sign. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Southern Sanctuary lies farther south past the mountains between the sacred peaks of Zenum. Why, why is the search system like... Let me reiterate, I said this a lot in Wild Arms 2, I don't mind the search system being a thing. I'm not against the search system, I'm against the search system being the main story progressor. 
The search system being used for like treasure and optional dungeons, I'm actually kind of cool with and it actually makes it more interesting. I hate the search system used to progress the story. It's stupid. It did get better in Wild Arms 2 come like 20 hours because they would give you a radar. They gave you like a radar so you can like see the green dot of like where locations are. It got a lot better in Wild Arms 2. But for the first like 10 to 15 hours, it was annoying in Wild Arms 2. Overall, I still think the games are better off without it. Like for the main story. Alright, get ready, Arc Scepter, because here I come. I've got the power of Arcana in my medium. As long as I've got that, no ordinary monster here can stand up to me. Gallows has invoked a medium called the Aqua Wisp. It enables certain powers called Arcana, which can be used in battle. You can only use Arcana when you have enough FP for the type of Arcana you wish to cast. Using Arcana, however, never costs FP. Nice. Outro 2 is whistled during the prologue. Yeah, okay, we're going to... After Gallows' story, we'll all restart the game and see that intro you're talking about. And maybe at the end of stream, I'll press... I'll click stop playing and we'll end stream with the outro. Just to see it. What are your abilities? Extension. Expand Arcana effects to multiple targets. Oh, hello! Okay, this is new. So our con our mediums give you like a spell list. That's neat. A water attack that crushes and suffocates the target. Go for it. Get him. Get wrecked. Uh, refrigerate. That's really cool. So mediums give you like a spell list. I like that. So now there's really now because in the original Wild Arms 1 and 2, there was really no point of mediums except for like in, in Wild Arms 1, the only real character you cared about who medium whose medium it was, it was Cecilia. And then in Wild Arms 2, it only mattered with like Tim or something. Every now and then there's a cool ability from a medium in Wild Arms 2, but in this game it's gonna be a lot more like, oh yeah, mediums for everyone like matter. Oh, this is uh pushing blocks. Hang on, before I do this. I like that. That's a neat little that's a neat way to do mediums. Like, in one, they were kind of... One, they were really only meant for, like, Cecilia. And then in two, it was Tim's whole leveling system, which I really like doing as well. But in this game, it's very different. Which is great. Also, Gallows is clearly meant to be a mage, because his damage output is not great with a gun. Bum 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 bum. Nice refrigerate. 